Blessings, everyone, and welcome. I am here with John Burgos, and we are going to talk about the crystalline convergence, which is coming up in September on the Equinox weekend, the 23rd and 24th. And after many years of wondering if John Burgos <laughs> would partner with me and help co-create some really deep conversation and transformational techniques for moving forward, John said yes this year. And uh I'm just so honored, beloved brother, to have you involved because, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you why. There are very few people who meet me on a level of consciousness and a level of heart that feels so pure and true and right, like we're able to describe exactly what we're experiencing. Mm -hmm without any drama or sensationalism and like a real higher perspective on what it is that we're going through with the ascension process. And the whole purpose of having you involved is because you do meet me on that level of consciousness. And I genuinely feel um, the reflection of my desire to move forward continually, mm -hmm. like hitting the higher thing rather than regurgitating the lower conversation. So um, welcome and thank you. Also sharing your mutual respect for creating services that mm. resonate with people. And again, bring them into a higher state of consciousness, consistently moving forward and kind of recognizing that here we are in death of the old self and then new self as presence coming into our consciousness and our experience and a lot of people having difficulty with moving forward, transforming their services or what they want to do next. They want to burn and break apart the old thing, but they don't know what to do. I've been experiencing a lot of this in my private sessions, you know, assisting people and walking through that. But when you started talking about how to create new services and in your other talks and co-creations i was like there it is nice. that's what, what we need to add to the convergence so welcome beloved and thank you for helping me co-create that section of the convergence <laughs> oh my goodness it's such an honor and if you would have asked three years ago of course i would have been yes and it's and then your reflection of your why to invite me and, and the meeting you in that space it's i was really welling up because it's there is a purity to it and to feel the depth of this desire of wanting to be met in that space um we rarely give ourselves the intimate openings for that to flow through of others and that it comes through so clearly in this way and you expressing it out loud just really touched me in a level that um mm -hmm. ah, that i'm breathing into receiving because it is it's a dream to be in that space it's it's a lifelong journey to be met in that way and then i'm sure y'all can relate that are listening to right now so thank you so much for that oh you're so welcome beloved and i can feel like on a oversoul i am presence level the the desire of those higher levels for for us to move into new conversation, new ways of communicating, new ways of creating. And it can't, you know, no judgment, but it can't be packaged or dimmed down to try to fit everybody uh, in the way that, you know, what was old, right? It's, it's the past. So all of us trying to figure out how do you move forward when you, when you feel so radically different and the place that I like to play in is, okay, a container like the crystalline convergence, where you've got this open, pure temple space, like a real field of crystalline unity consciousness. How does that, like working with that field that's already starting to build, it like that surrender to that unity consciousness itself and the connection through the stargates and everything it's it's beautiful to feel like all those different levels of self and oversoul and presence levels 
teaching us how to create in a brand new way. And mm -hmm. I feel that's probably one of the more challenging things in this year in these energies is it's not about keeping up anymore. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I have to shift and do it. You know, that's going on. But there's there's an energy here that's attempting to teach us how to create in uh, at a much higher level of not just vibration, but there's love light intelligence there that's attempting to inform us how to be presence in everything that we do. And rather than separating, which was kind of my coping mechanism a couple of years ago, okay, I'll, I'll work and then there's a sacred, right? And you try to blend them because in order to, to kind of focus on a linear task, it meant kind of taking this giant consciousness and kind of squeezing it into mm. um, what you used to do. And I could no longer do that. So the way that I communicate, the way that I present, everything is is very different. But there's also like this pure intention of um, what the kind of trajectory of the convergence itself was, was to not just give people an experience, but learning how to co-create in that field, in that energy, unified hearts, and explore these topics that weren't from a leader follower dynamic at all, mm. genuine co-creation, open expression, and also um, making sure, like there's kind of a vibrational field around the whole event that ensures that we're dealing with, uh, it's like building a constellation, right? People who have like certain vibrations, certain things to share, certain things to create, come together and when you have that field there they naturally like shift their trajectories open their consciousness they get to feel the, the big thing that they are and then it becomes uh non-personal right. and non-local non where you start to feel all of us as one thing last year's convergence ended in complete silence because everyone was in the field and we didn't want to leave, you know, like, well, <laughs> here's the challenge, right? We take it now onto the land. We always go onto the land uh, after Sunday. And, and again, we're watching the eclipse, right? The full moon rises, the eclipse is starting to happen. And we're all in silence, right? Just feeling that complete oneness. And what I feel what we are capable of doing or what our quest is right now is to not just integrate that into everything that we do, but really learning a new way to create. Like kind of abandoning old, old ideas of manifestation, old ideas of service, even because it has to be unified, right? It's like a, like a demand is coming from source itself. Like now is the time where you change everything and the old self goes away, mm. right? You know, as you've been speaking, it's been really beautiful for me in this in this field in this container that we're in and this, and this is starting now i can only imagine all of us together in person mm -hmm. in person in sedona in this crystalline grid and it, you know again i just what i'm feeling now as you're speaking and again the energy yeah. the field that's created felt it expanded and i felt again such presence but presence in, in not knowing myself and who i thought i used to be even before we got on the call yeah. knowing that all that experience is coming with me but it doesn't have to be held in the field it's and we talked about this a little bit before we got on the call, before we went live. We can call it a dying process. And, and I'm not sure if that's quite the right word or phrase, but there's an evolution of what it seems that we're cycling to. And this place of presence feels so full and rich and like the most truth of anything that I can be in right now. And the identity is not being there. And I can feel this bigness 
and I don't necessarily know where it's going. I have no desire really to know where it's going, but to, uh, really my, it's just being here. And in that there's almost like the, I'll, the words are tough. It's almost like a regal quality. I don't have to worry about tomorrow because everything's right here. And this presence and this, this cosmic healing or eminence that's streaming through again the words or it's the words i've had before don't serve what i'm feeling right now yeah. and as you talked about the convergence and the conference and what's being built up and it's so beautiful our pre-conversation before we went live reminds me it's taken me to what the convergence is is this heartfelt opening and connection and dropping in and talking about things and and again, being with one another in presence and such authenticity and really provoking each other to rise. And then as we went live, I think it's taken me, and I haven't experienced the convergence yet, but it's taken me to that still space of that expansion. It's like, whoa, hold on a second. This is different. Yeah. Something is running that I feel really peaceful with, but really expanded in right now. And I don't have to do anything with it. It's doing me. Mm. Wow. Like that. Yeah. Interesting transformation. You know, just as somebody who's witnessing the, this is the seventh convergence in Sedona and just witnessing how how much we have radically changed all of us, you know, as we walk through this and also just holding something new. I think there's a, a lot to be said for the trust, faith, grace that mm. it takes to um, stick to the core intention and the higher direction that, because it can be tempting to make it look and feel like a conference, mm -hmm. you know, or a retreat or something like that. I'm like, no, that's, that's actually not what it is at all. You know, it has structure. We, we do things, we talk about things, our presentation, there's movement, there's, you know, all kinds of activations and lessons and uh, ap applicable skill elevation, everything. But there's, the, the higher intention was to uh, allow people to um, learn and also um, feel that co-created field that is everywhere. But when you put your focus mm, and start applying pure unity consciousness to everything, I think the key was to allow people to feel it, right? And then we take people through Okay, now we're going to apply it to certain things, to you know, DNA, light body, Gaia, grids, everything, um, and applying it to our services and our skills and everything. There was um, I've noticed like how how much we jump every year to that being that presence kind of taking over what's going on. Because of eventually, of course, we'll just be coming together. And opening that that co-created field, and a lot of things are going to happen, and there'll be less, probably less and less words. <laughs> you know, it won't be just a series of people talking about stuff. You know, I was uh -huh. just like, oh, I don't ever want it to be like that. So there's like little um, adjustments as, as you go through it. But this year, I feel like a real launch into um, something very different, and I've noticed like everything around it being um different again it's hard to describe but there is that that presence and like you mentioned it has taken away the desire for um per the like personal desire for outcomes personal desire for um figuring things out mm -hmm. it's just so much surrender so much trust and fortunately 
my presence activation happened over a year ago. So I've had a whole year of kind of unloading the the lower journey. Wow. By moment, step by step. So um, it's interesting to not, I, I can't even really say hold space, but there is like a spaciousness and an energy there that a lot of cosmic mother type energy too. Mm. It's kind of holding everyone and and saying to all of us, just like Gaia is, just like source is, just like our presence is, just be here and allow me to show you everything. Right. And that that too, part of my presence activation came with a lot of this cosmic mother energy. Just compassion for everything that's been created in these realms. Mm-hmm. And it just washes away all the judgment and the, you know, duality, everything else, which has been the trajectory. But there's something really unique. Um, because I, I moved the convergence out of spring and into the autumn equinox. And if I happened it had it in the spring, it would have been radically different and and people were having different experiences so there's definitely like something unfolding with our trajectory and our timeline for it to be moved into this you know equinoxes have been extremely strong the last couple of years so i'm like wow here we are in in that that container with that energy and sedona and everything else kind of coming together to um i feel like it's birthing a, a new conversation a new communication a new way of creating and co-creating that and it's freedom there's so much freedom Mm -hmm. and just kind of being that right just all of us just being that and even though it it was predicted and we talk about it and you you know repeat all the sayings and platitudes that come with spirituality and and now it feels like we're transcending all of that, like "Mm, that served. And now, right. The next thing, the new thing that's so, so uh, aligned with that new energy. It's a a new, very crystalline unified state. And, and I feel like, you know, if we build the constellation properly, you know, and bring in all of these luminaries who are also experiencing the same thing, like we're all going to just transform together right Mm -hmm. and that has that ripple out effect just mm, right without any egoic notion that we are doing something important for all of humanity it's just there's even that is gone right that notion of this is the most powerful event ever you know i can't even (laughs) i can't even use that language anymore i'm just like oh let's uh you know let me just provide everything is like so light and coded very little said and a lot um a lot of energy put Mm. into uh connecting with people in a different way i'm curious about your experiences sandra because i've been having a lot of experiences where perhaps in different meditations or processes and i'd go into the field and where before there were stories or things being resolved or a lot of mental um beautiful pictures playing out it's more energy for me now. It's like, I don't get the storylines anymore. It's just energy, 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 energy shifting. And and I know so many things are aligning and shifting in those meditations and the dreams and all that, but it's, it's something has shifted dramatically where the storylines don't carry the weight that they used to. Yeah. And I feel that's because all of those, um, anything linear is collapsing stories mm-hmm. narratives everything that was created in density technically is already gone so now we're getting the experience of oh that really is non-existent part of the illusion you know all of that and i feel too like in my meditations and i have to tap into meditation quite often during the day because it, it's you know the direction is hold this energy like hold space for this and it's constant right these plasma waves and everything so i'm just seeing a lot of diamond golden crystalline light all the time just flowing and rushing through and and it does it just washes everything away and then yeah the meditations do change 
there's always guidance for tools, techniques, practices Mm -hmm. that are not classic any longer. It's very different than going through that with my presence events too. Like "Mm, feel this, this new thing, this new thing that we're going to all co-create. And then we practice together. Of course, you know, it, it just expands and goes into this very um, pure state. And I've always said unity consciousness is a radically different state of being this. And here we are walking right into it, becoming it, right? Just lovely. And all of us trying to uh, transform our services to kind of keep up with the level of consciousness or the conversations and things that we desire to create. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. Like, how do I move into the new thing? There's definitely a period of crossing the bridge happening Mm -hmm. right now, right? Where you have to learn how to let go of uh, linear expectations, attachments to uh, old ways of creating, Mm -hmm. right? Even even the folks who are uh, trying to inspire people to, hey, get your work out there, which is, you know, I'm one of them. I'm like, just create and put it out there. What are you waiting for? You know, it's like, stop trying to do it properly and make it look a certain way or whatever. I'm like, Uh you know, it it works on some level, but that's a different vibration. You know, someone who's trying to get someone's attention. It's a very different vibration from beingness or sharing, you know, exactly what it is that you're receiving or what your true role is. I feel a lot of our roles are changing, Uh right? Purpose itself, mission, service, all kind of transforming right now as we cross this bridge together. So I feel a lot of the guidance is how to be present as you're crossing the bridge and stop walking back to where where you were because you're afraid of what's on the other half, right, of that bridge because it feels so unknown. It feels like, well, what if I can't talk or create in the way that I used to do, right? And people kind of retract a little bit right rather going into the infinite it's much more comfortable to stay in the finite however if we're going to be way showers if we're really going to change the conversation if we're really going to change um how we walk in these worlds or how we present what we have to share in new ways it's going to be a lot of experimentation but first there's got to be the surrender of what was so hard for people especially when it's entangled to survival concerns you know about how you're going to get by oh yeah all of that all of that i'm very grateful that early on in my journey i was told to surrender everything and move surrender everything go live in the woods surrender everything you know go over here because it trained me how to be present and feel that sovereignness of, I have a right to be here. And, you know, just that presence itself, presence has a right to be here. Right? I, it's my birthright to walk upon this planet and experience these realms, everything like that, and create. And everything else is worries and concerns that, you know, my higher levels um, don't worry about at all. So why should I? Right. There's some kind of alignment happening there, right? With really getting people to feel their own presence and trust it. Trust. Yeah. Trust it. Mm. It's it's certainly been a big part of my journey over the last couple of years and and keeps coming up. And you know, there's a parts of me that want to be in survival and keep things the same, but also this part that's very uncomfortable keeping things the same knowing that I can't keep looping Mm. the same things that are, that are keeping me under this glass ceiling that I I know I need to breathe out of because it's like, I need that exhale. It's like, Oh, how do I get there? And it's the surrender. And it's been, um, it's been a beautiful challenge. I'll call it that. And in discovery. Um, And I think even the contraction of that, has allowed me to receive perhaps in ways if I would have opened up in the beginning and maybe even have more compassion for others that 
or guided to listen to my shows or go to one of the talks or whatever. Because in that compassion, I really feel that I become a better way shower mm. along the way. And, and it's in that understanding that we're all leading each other home. But yeah, that contract. And it's like, ah, in the survival mode. And how do I do but okay, how do I just do this a little bit differently? So I am changing. And it's again, all I know is that I can't define myself today by how it who I used to be and how exciting because if if I don't know then anything is possible right and it's it's exciting to learn a new way of it creating is. because it's not the creation of the brick and mortar linear thing mm-hmm. right when you let go of that you're like wow just hands off the wheels like okay okay are we gonna crash you know it's like easy easy trust 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 and and i feel the the container for the convergence and for that conversation you know we walk people through how to not just surrender the old um completely or the steps that you need to do to kind of wean yourself off of that but also a brand new approach to creating with the new light as presence and abandoning the old parameters that we had around the way that we create services or classes or even mm-hmm. events. I mean, I'm walking yeah. through that right now. I'm watching it. I'm watching the event itself just toss off old things and morph into something new and the energy and just like, just abandoning um, concerns that it continues to shift and change so radically. And when new people register, like I can feel like, Ooh, Mm. that person is bringing that energy and that creativity and their, you know, their own path um, into the field. I'm like, Whoa, we just leveled up. You know, it's beautiful Mm. to see because it's probably um, the intention, but, Convergence tends to attract people who are active creators and active way showers and people who are not just working with gate and and grid work, uh, because that too is changing, which we're going to talk about, but um, people who are consistently paying attention and honoring their own level of light consciousness mm-hmm. right so they're like i i have this desire to create this thing and people go all out into the new and it doesn't matter if it doesn't look like anybody else's thing which i mm-hmm. love personally yes. i'm all about like give me the weirdest coolest strangest <laughs> most high level grounded like not a whole bunch of woo split yeah. mm-hmm. but just beautiful beautiful like yes do it you know and and also feeling like when people create in that way or really just i mean i have ooh, we have people in this collective who are really um at, at the high end of honoring uh j- new earth in just radically new super creative ways wow i uh, just um the the people who are in the field right now is really beautiful to see because they are they're it's perhaps it's my challenging um, spirit that that also you know I'm always kind of challenging people to go a little bit higher. But but they too they're like I'm going to push the envelope of what I'm creating. I'm just going to put it out there, and they find ways to do it. Right? Mm-hmm. No no concern about well where am I going to find the funds or how is it going to land? Like no concern for that at all. Just like going for it with their creative projects and their events and their even things that are just so that that you know it's never going to be popular it just needs to be done those are the people that i love you know Mm. because i'm like do you see what you're doing to the collective consciousness by creating this wild you know expression of your pure heart or the higher energies or your you know honoring your guidance and doing radically different wild things and traveling and everything um because i see what it does to to unity consciousness itself right it looks and feels different all of us learning to honor those unique 
uh, parts of ourselves because the souls, you know, at the soul level, the genuine soul level, over soul level is unique on purpose, right? We're not all unity consciousness isn't all of us doing the same thing. So there's definitely uh, lessons and practices to be shared to consistently unveil, reveal that unique part of the self that just wants in on this light level and on this particular phase of our ascension. Can you feel that? Oh, God, yeah. As you're talking about it, I'm just so excited about everybody who's going to be there. And everybody is doing that, but it's like to be to be in person with the energies. And y'all may not know what your crazy creative thing, avant-garde thing is, but I bet you that you carry it. And it has so many different expressions, but just the energy of it, the vitality that it brings in. It's just like, ah, oh, yes, put me in that field. Yes. Yeah, that sensation um, of like unified life force, like pure mm-hmm. source energy coming in is just it's it's very exciting to me (laughs) it's very and i and i again i feel i feel us in the grid already and this is me now who i'm going to be in september is going to be a whole nother version because this is speeding up so freaking quickly and it's again there's again we'll call it a death process and a rebirthing process that's happening but it's different than anyone that i've ever gone before and i'd say i've spiraled through those cycles quite a few times in this lifetime and this feels i can't even begin to describe it it feels so different and again feeling the grid the container that's being held in sedona from who i am today and how potent i feel it i can only imagine what it's going to be like during the equinox in september um wow wow and this is i mean it's not personal of course this is land that is consistently getting worked with and amplified and now that it's connected to this uh, new um, flow of the crystalline grid uh, after four years of of working on that um, I can attest to how radically different Sedona feels what it does to people's energy levels and awareness is um, beautiful you know the direction was to make it feel more like Shasta, and then there was all this weaving with Arkansas and the Tetons and everything that just happened that just kind of, you know, popped the field to a a new level. Mm. Yeah, it's quite beautiful. Quite beautiful. Oh, brother, I am so, Mm. I'm so honored that you're going to be co-creating with us. It's very exciting. Thank you. It's an honor to be invited and to, again, be co-creating with you. I, again, I feel it tremendously already. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited what's coming through. I'm curious as well. Um, yeah. And yeah, show up in innocence, in service, and knowing that I'm showing up for myself as well. You know, we're showing up for us, which is the purity of that understanding of that and, and to carry that forward it's not an egoic way it's just we're aware that we we're, we're being carried by this divine mother energy if you want to call it mm-hmm. that and feel that's like it's i want to say it's bringing us back home but at the same time it's like we're building a new home it's again it's so different it's so different yeah. mm-hmm. Thank you so much for the invitation. I'm I'm feeling giddy from this conversation. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling excited about what's coming through. So thank okay. you so much for this opportunity and for inviting me into your cherished community. And it's an honor to get to be with everyone there and to and to get to share and express and play and and all expand together. It's again, thank you. Oh, beautiful. And thank you everyone for sharing this space with us this day. Hope to see you in. Sedona Crystalline Convergence, September 23rd through the 24th. Thank you, beloveds. Blessings. Blessings. See you there.